401. Massive back up there. Closed highway. Damn it, updating pictures. Raises tensions. Forest oh. A challenging load. Fights back. Ooh. And Gary and Colin. Never had this many vehicles on its side in one location. Face the biggest test. It's going to be a pain. A ridge of high pressure is giving drivers in Toronto an early preview of spring. But after months of snow, some are hitting the gas a little too hard. That's the speed from 13135. High speeds put police on high alert. Uh, you have no PPs going up and down here. On days like today, you get a lot of crashes. They get going a little too fast, not paying attention. On the western edge of the city, veteran constable John Haminski is ready for whatever the 401 throws his way. We go to the serious incidents that occur on the highway. If there's nothing going on, then just kind of roll out, do some enforcement, you know, speeding, cell phones, aggressive driving. Today, he's expecting to see speed. Pretty unexpected. But what catches his eye is just the opposite. We're doing 60 kilometers an hour, and it's a posted 100. It's just a hazard waiting to happen. Speeding is bad, but if you're going too slow, it's also very dangerous. You're going to get run into. Hi, how are you, sir? The reason I'm stopping is just because you were doing about 65, 70 kilometers an hour out in the left lane there. You need to be driving either in the slower lanes when you're out there. It's a 100 kilometer hour zone out here. Somebody's going to run into the back of you. Driving 75, that's as fast as he likes to drive. This driver, he didn't realize that going that slow was a big problem. So I didn't think just education was enough for him. I do have a ticket for you just for being out in the left lane there driving at that slow speed. People are going to come up behind you, and they're going to have to avoid you very quickly. And if there's somebody to their right or to their left, they're going to lose control and cause a collision. There he goes. Now he's found the gas pedal. You just go with the flow of traffic, you get to where you're going. Back her up, he's back, back her up. Later that morning, on the other side of the city, Please, come and do a stop. the flow of traffic has come to a hard stop. We have a collision now eastbound on the 401 in the express just before Leslie. Two right lanes of the right shoulder are blocked, causing quite a backup. Please, hold it. A straight truck has slammed right into the back of a slow-moving semi. Carries injuries. We have one person with uh, possibly life-altering injuries and the highway has got to be shut down for investigation. Constable Tim Dunna is working to manage the scene. Get some good photos, I guess, of the steering wheel. And it will be up to John Haminski to lead the investigation. As a commercial motor vehicle inspector, after a crash, I try to look at all the components, steering, braking, tires, Anything that might have contributed to the collision. Until they can finish the investigation, all eastbound express lanes will have to stay closed. Oh, no. Massive back up there. We could get it to a rolling that'd be great, thank you. Shutting down the express lanes is not a decision that we take lightly. We have to do it so that the officers and rescue teams have a safe space to work. 
Our main goal here is to get the highway open as quick as we can. Until they do, they risk unwanted attention from drivers in adjacent lanes, which are still moving. Come on, you have a rubber necker, go. Three cars in front of me, stop with their cameras on. Every time we have an accident on the highway, there's a huge risk of secondary collisions happening. Just get a picture of these. Damn it, updating pictures. Fire step! Go! Go! dealing with quite a few problems if you're just uh, making your way out this hour. Uh, eastbound 401 really not moving, starting from Teal Street to approaching Leslie in the Express. What's going on? 401 Eastbound Express is still down. We're on parking lot. Look at traffic just rammed all the way. Just before noon, Abrams lead op John Allen rolls up on scene. Man, oh man, this thing is messed right up, this truck. Let's go have a better look, see what we got here. John's timing is bang on. I want to see if we can get some air to the street truck. So basically, we're all done. He's just going to finish mapping where this truck was. With the investigation complete, the Abrams crew, including manager Peter Colagiovanni, can get to work. Clean up crew here, we're gonna start cleaning up. Try to get these brakes working. Get this thing mobile. The truck's air lines are damaged, so John needs to find a way right. to bypass the damage and get the air to the brakes. Uh, hopefully I can find the right lines to release the brakes. So, that's the one coming from the tank, which goes in there. This comes out here. So the red. That should be airing up. Nope. Nothing? Nope. We've tried every line. Not one of them are releasing the brake. I don't understand why. Cage brakes might be the next option. The clock's ticking, we gotta get this thing out of here. It's gonna take some time to clear out this backlog. Any word on the highway shutdown? It's not gonna be open for a long time, bud. It's like sunny, dry. 400 kilometers east. Spring already. Even though skies are clear, the 401 is anything but. What's going on here? Back up ahead. It's all backed up. And heavy congestion leads one driver. to take a hard detour. Eight oh six westbound, guys. Yeah, keep it tight, boys. 15 kilometers west in Cornwall, the Herbs towing crew answers the call. I think it's going to be a big day. We're rolling out to a tractor trailer rolled over with a load of wood. Senior op Bill Fell leads the way in the 80-ton rotator. So we're bringing out uh, all the big iron for this one. It's, uh, it's a big load. Just one flap. 
go around the side. Yeah, just lay it down. I'm showing her that rapidly. Fighting the mess, man. Company co-owner Andrew Vink pieces together the unusual crash. The guy tried to avoid it, track the trail was completely stopped, hit the ass end of it, and uh, resulted in him doing a, almost a 270 and almost landed back on his wheels. In our industry, rollovers are usually tip overs. To see something of this nature where somebody almost does a complete 360 with his tractor trailer is quite phenomenal. You know, you see wrecks like this and you're amazed when you hear that they walked out of that alive. Could have been a lot worse. This thing rolled practically in the worst possible spot. Oh, look at that. In a swamp about with three feet of water or so. The water's deep, though. But even worse than the location is the load. Those are full pieces? Yes. Yeah. Mm, that's not a hand bomb job. We got an awkward load to the awful. We got floor trusses 40 feet long in one piece. Oh, oh. Well, this should be fun. These beams are super long, and it's going to be a really awkward offload. You can't just pick them up with a forklift, do a 180. The beam's going to be halfway through the other lane of 401. So quite the challenging load to deal with. It's going to be a little uh, delicate trying to get these bundles off. I'm going to try to keep them in bundles. Anyway, that's the plan, but I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure the plan's going to go sideways. This is uh, interesting, to say the very least. We're not taking anything anywhere. We're sitting still. The 401 pretty much looking like a parking lot. Express lanes are completely shut down. On the 401 at Leslie, the traffic backlog has been growing for an hour. And John Allen has had to give up on using air to release the brakes. How are we doing? Two back ones. The plates were shifted. But manually releasing each set of brakes is taking even more time. Each one of the drive wheels has a brake chamber that we have to put a bolt in and manually wind the brake off. I really hope this releases the brakes. She's rolling. Yeah, all right. Let me pull up a little bit out of your way here. All right, it's rolling good. Got this truck all ready to go. The only thing left here is the cleanup. Come on, come on. Let's go. Yeah, we got a couple bags here. I'll start doing that. The highway is getting ready to be reopened by our road crew. You're doing a great job. We appreciate it. Despite the delay, they finished the job without any secondary collisions. And that's not the only reason to celebrate. We got some good news. At least the driver, he's OK. I believe it's just a broken leg. Other than that, he's going to live. No life-altering injuries. So you know, that's some good news for today. He's found for a one. is open. Back at the eastern end of the highway. This is uh, interesting. A new member is joining the crew. Andrew's father, Herb Vink himself. Gotta make sure that nobody loses a finger. I'll be honest with you. No, Herb's not getting any younger. He's slowly retiring. But this tough job 
is a good chance to see how the crew is developing under Andrew's leadership. It's 48 foot floor joists and um, you cannot operate it with the load on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Although it was strapped in two portions, the top portion of the tie downs were broken. So it was scattered like toothpicks. With Herb's guidance, they bundle those loose boards together. Just like that. Right there, line in a bit. They can now use a fork attachment to lift the bundle. Winch in and winch in and winch in, winch in, Bill, winch in. But at 48 feet long, they need perfect balance. Getting center of this bundle is crucial to make sure this gets safely back into the trailer that we're trying to load it onto. It's always an adventure with Andrew. Okay, pull! Yeah, swing it in. It's not just a pick and drop. I'll try and be smooth on these controls, my friends. You got to come over as smooth as you can to prevent it from swinging. Whoa, 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 whoa. And when you're dropping it, we got to make sure that we have enough space for the rest of them. It's a long process. You think if we do a campfire, it's going to be quicker? <laughs> Now we're crawling. They've moved the scattered boards, but they'll need a faster process for the rest of the load. We have one lane open. Yeah, we got to figure this out. And the most experienced crew member on scene might have an idea. If we were to put the two forklifts underneath, yeah, and then use the rotator to slowly bring it up, there won't be much pressure left there. Two skid steers will push up and hold the remaining load while the rotator rolls the trailer onto its wheels. We got about 17,000 pounds left of payload on there. The two forklifts will keep, would keep it from falling off the trailer. Okay, yeah. It would save a lot of work if we do it. Go check to see if all the straps are they good. Are, they're all, they're all good. Check they're all tight. If we can save from offloading this, we're having a good day. But the success of Herb's plan hinges on the beams staying contained during the lift. Straps are meant to hold down. They're, they have some side strength, but it's not meant to hold a load fully on its side. Under that kind of condition, they can break. If this thing breaks free, we're back to square one, and we just added multiple hours of the job. Ah, yeah, my lucky day, man. Andrew needs to prep the truck for towing once it's on its wheels. I feel like Crooked Al Dundee in here. Okay, that right, good. We gotta release brakes on the truck. Gonna remove the shaft. Bill? Yeah? Um, can you work with me for the shaft here? Add the bag between both drives. Make sure you don't drop it, because if you drop it, you don't see it anymore. Now, they can rig for the pole. Rim sling, two frame chains. Banking that they can keep the load intact. You through? Hey. You got a mix of loaders, a mix of heavy tow trucks involved. We're definitely in uncharted territories here. It's a bit of a gamble. I've tried it, but uh, probably 20 years ago. And today, it won't be Herb on the controls. You just got to be careful. Bill has developed uh, in the last four or five years to be a very key figure in our towing operation. But there is always a risk factor. We'd have to see if we've got enough boom. Yeah. I think I've come a long way. I've worked hard for it. Still got a lot to learn, obviously. Maybe that'll work, I don't know. The maneuver is well outside of Bill's comfort zone. Usually, you're pulling it towards you. This time, we're kind of pushing it away to operate it. We're working pretty much at max reach here. OK, you good to go, Herb? OK. The loaders can lift 10,000 pounds. Not even sure that we're going to have enough power to get this thing upright. Hopefully, everything goes good. Hopefully, the load stays on the trailer. You guys better do your job and get her upright, OK? You guys ready? Give her a try. 
Andrew, you're watching on your side? Yeah. Bill needs to ensure he times his lift with the two loaders, or he risks losing the cargo. Try lifting, Bill, keep on pulling. I don't know how this is gonna roll over. I'm not sure if the straps gonna let go, if the bundles are gonna go flying. Pull more on your gray, uh, Bill. It's a little unorthodox. It's just on the borderline of crazy. Keep on winching, Billy. Are we gonna run out of line here? Keep on pushing it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got maxed out. Like it doesn't even go up at all. Nothing. On the 401 east of Cornwall. I'm maxed out, like it doesn't even go up. At all, nothing. Herb's unconventional plan. Man, we're not doing much. Is hitting overwhelming resistance. Pushing the unit that's max. It's just on the borderline of crazy. I'm sweating. We're not even sure that we have enough line, enough power to get this thing upright. Mains are good right there, Billy. So if you keep on booming up. Working to roll the truck away from the rotator is forcing Bill to work his controls in reverse. Going on your gray? Most wrecks we do, we're operating it towards us. So it's different. You can't boom up until you're slacking them up. We need to be exact on this. Oh, keep on doing that slowly. It's up to Andrew to guide him through. Billy? Yeah? You can actually slack off slightly on the uh, on the mains and boom up slowly. The reverse roll can be really tricky. So boom up now? Puts a lot of stress on the truck and the operator, because you're wondering, <laughs> is this going to work? Keep on booming up. to go, so I got on the mains to release them just in time. Yeah, you saved the day, Bill. It splashed down. We're on our way home soon. I was able to put the lines out just in time, I think. It wouldn't have flipped over if it wouldn't have been for you, buddy. Thanks. It was a little uh, nerve-wracking, but it worked. He pulled it off. Couldn't have done it better myself. Saved a lot of time. Now they just need to ease the truck and trailer back to solid ground. Rotate towards the front. Make sure your rotation bill is uh, then on with it. Oh, yeah. There we go. How oh, beautiful. I think today was one of my strongest days as an operator. I think I did really well. It was a challenge that brought Herb's past and future together. Every piece of equipment and every operator played a tremendously big role to get this thing off and get this thing upright. So it was nice to see old methods and new methods mix up to get a successful recovery in the books. Proud of the team effort and uh, the camaraderie and the calm, cool, and collected. Herb Stallings' future, it's uh, very solid. That was a good job, boys. Andrew has a very good team behind him. It's dinner time! Be advised, the hallways are reopened. Watch out for slippery sections. 
700 kilometers west. Cold, snowy. The other end of the province is still locked in the grip of winter. And a blast of snow is hammering Highway 402 hard. I right, when I was coming to a stop there. Number of issues there on the 402. I need two, possibly three tow trucks here. We had a system blow through earlier in the day, left a lot of snow on the ground. Just before midnight, Colin Vandenhuvel is heading 50 kilometers east from Sarnia to a scene in Warwick. I'm heading out in the rotator. My dad's following in the 50 ton. We want to make sure we got enough iron for this fight. Looks like uh, we got our hands full out here today. Even Colin's father, Gary, has never tackled a job like this. All right, let's go see what we got. It's a big one. That's some serious carnage there. Yeah. Got a trailer on its side loaded with cars. We've got the truck separated from it, and it's further down in the ditch. And then we've got another truck up the road. Holy. Well, we got a lot of trucks here. Wow. It'll be an interesting night. We've never had this many vehicles on its side in one location. This is the unicorn. The fully loaded car carrier swerved to avoid a jackknifed semi, losing control and barreling right into the median. I've never had a car hauler on its side. This is something new to me, a unique recovery for us. The trailer is going to be the big job on this one. I've been to a few multi-vehicle pileups, but this one takes it a whole step above that. Well, Colin, I'm just going to go down the road. I'm going to check out that other one. Okay. 200 meters back. She's empty. The second truck poses some problems of its own. This one's uh, knocked around pretty hard. Uh, knocked the cab right off the truck by the looks of it. It's jackknifed all the way around. It's one of those nights. We've got two recoveries within a close distance of each other. We're going to split up. I'll deal with that one. If you want to deal with, with unstropping uh, these cars, and then uh, just, I guess you're going to use the rotator, whatever plan you come up with. Sounds good. OK. I think the best avenue, Colin's going to take the lead on this. I got to get her out of here. Tasking Colin with the unprecedented challenge is a huge vote of confidence from Gary. Holy crap. And it's a huge responsibility for his son. This car hauler, it's not something I've ever done before. I have total trust in him, and he'll get the job done. This is a big scene for one recovery. It's going to be a pain. Fifty kilometers east of Sarnia, a double recovery scene has shut down the westbound 402. It's going to be a pain. And Colin Vandenhuvel is facing a job that even his father has never attempted. This car hauler, it's not something I've ever done before. I have total trust in him, and he'll get the job done. Let's get that truck up onto the road. I'm going to have to go back to my light duty towing routes to help with all these cars on their side. She is slick. That light duty history isn't very far back in Colin's past. It is just a soupy mess. Just a few years ago, he was fighting to master one ton wind shouts. That's going to be a challenge. And to prove himself, what do you need? This is a mess. Let's start getting prepared. 
couple years ago, I would have looked at a job like this and I wouldn't have had any clue. Now it's still scary, but I'm getting to be able to do it by myself. I'm gonna grab him first. Tonight, for the biggest test of his career, Colin will start with the tractor, itself loaded down with two SUVs. I'm gonna leave these vehicles on just because to lift these vehicles off, we'd do more damage. They're actually undamaged as they sit. But the decision comes with a price. Over 10,000 extra pounds of resistance. 5,000 pound Jeep and a 6,000 pound SUV up there. So well, and almost 40,000 pounds right there. These are solid right here. These are very good point to pull on. Oh, absolutely. Colin's only help is Brian, who usually works in the light duty division. Boom. Locked and loaded and ready to pull. We're both going to go down into the ditch. I just want to watch the back end, make sure it's not dragging. I want you to watch the front end, make sure it's not dragging, OK? The truck itself, they're very low. So bringing it back up and out of the ditch is going to be very challenging without damaging the underside of that truck. And on top of that, we've got a lot of weight up high. So I don't want this thing starting to teeter and roll over. Watch out, I'm going to pull forward, OK? She's tippy. That's the part I don't like about this. So I'm just trying to keep the lines as even as I can on this because of how tippy it is. We've got a lot of weight up high on this, so if I pull too hard on one of my lines, it can actually flip this unit right now. Hey, Colin. Yeah. We're getting close to that front bumper. It's so low that I can't see underneath and see what I'm actually dragging on. What's rubbing, Colin? Everything. I'm just worried about these fuel tanks rubbing against the ground. I don't want to blow the tanks. I'm hearing some noises I really don't like right now, so we're just gonna stop. Brian, can you set the brakes for me? <sighs> Looks like that tractor might be fighting him a little bit. I know it's really low on the front end there. He may be struggling with that, and it's really heavy, so uh, he's got his hands full with it. But tackling a jackknife solo, Gary's hands are far from empty. Be pretty close. I can live with that. I'm hoping I can just actually pull it around. This has to work. I don't have any other options, so my feet down, and let's see what it does. Ooh, hydraulics are cold tonight. Everything's slow. OK, I'm going to start pulling. Lots of banging and crunching going around there, but it's just the truck coming off. Hopefully it doesn't bite me too much. Over on call and scene. We're going to have to get some blocks.
front end up. To get the loaded tractor ready for the pull, Colin enlists the driver to help. Can we bring that back car down just to keep that center of gravity a little bit lower? That'd be awesome. Just because this is where it's going to get really tippy on us is getting it up out of here with the high center. I'm hoping that's going to give me enough lift to balance it out a little bit to crest the ditch a little bit easier. Let's just see what it does here for a second. No room underneath this thing. I'm just trying to take it nice and gentle so I don't rip anything off this. But I got to get her out of here. So we're just going to kind of keep stepping it up with wood here, and uh, we'll go from there. listening for every single sound at this point. Slow and steady wins the race. There we go. That's a lot better. Oh, that was... Uh, quite the nerve-wracking feeling, but uh, we got it up. We didn't tear anything off the thing. She's on the road, and she's ready to go. Looks like he's got it out. That's great news. Always a proud moment as a dad, handling a job like this on his own. I'm glad we've got this truck up on the road without doing any extra damage to it. Now we've got to focus on the car carrier itself sitting on its side. With a warm-up behind him, it's time for Colin's main event. And the push to open the road is getting even harder. Pressure's on, the snow plows are backing up, so I better get this thing out of the way. Time crunch on this one. We're gonna have the morning rush coming in. It's pretty critical that we get at least a partial lane open so that these plows can continue down the road. Want to get this cleaned up, get this roadway open up. We're gonna have to cut the straps, obviously. In the middle of the 402, Colin is getting ready to start the most complex part of the most complex recovery of his career. I need you guys to get me some endless loops. But he can't upright the trailer with all the cargo on board. We're gonna remove the two vehicles on the top of this trailer with the rotator to help lighten the load as we're rolling it over but also to prevent any further damage to these trucks. I'm gonna have to slide this way anyways to get where it needs to be. He'll have to ease the vehicles off the trailer, then thread them around the rotator and onto the pavement without doing any damage on the way. Everyone clear? Clear. Okay. I'm trying to feather the trucks away from the trailer. I don't want them to swing and hit the trailer, possibly do more damage to the trucks. Uh, it's gonna wanna turn just like that. That's yeah. what I want. It doesn't kick on us. Not gonna like it a whole lot. Watch yourselves, guys. That's between four and 6,000 pounds. Don't be that. The truck's swinging a lot more than I was expecting it to. It's coming right at the rotator. I don't wanna damage the truck. Hey. Hey, Bri, get me tag lines. So we're just putting a catch line on there so that when we start to lift this thing, it doesn't swing too much. Hey, you're fishing. Kind of big one. The plan is working, but it's eating up time. I'll grab the second one. We'll do the exact same thing. All right, cooperate, trailer. 200 meters down the road, Gary is in the home stretch. Come around and let's make this happen. He just needs to slide the back end of the semi sideways to make room for the waiting clouds. 
swinging a gate and opening the highway. Looks like they're coming. A few minutes later... How you doing, bud? Gary's joined his son, but he's still letting Colin make the big calls. What are you thinking for the upgrade on this one? I'm thinking a low spike on this just because the cage on the top is not very structural, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't want to damage that. Just park the rotator back here and just bring her right over, spike her right down. Yeah. I think that's going to be our best bet. Colin wants to use two lines to pull down on the trailer, a strap to roll it upward, and a fourth line for a soft landing. Round two. It's actually really neat to see Colin lead this recovery, and it's something I've never even done. I definitely feel a lot of pressure. There's a lot going on with this recovery. Hopefully this is going to be the last lift for the night. Get this thing up and over. Can we go over? Is yeah, that what you want? let's go over. It's been a long night. Temperature's starting to drop. A little snow coming in. We're all getting pretty tired. We've been going all day and now all night. You know, we're really running on adrenaline right now. We're just running a couple lines here, a catch line, a couple lower lines. Hopefully it comes down nice and smooth. It looks like you're going to have a hard time is catching. It's a pretty uh, tight space that we're dealing with. I'm going with that. If we miss this, we could actually hit the wrecker itself, so I can mark it with a water bottle. Hopefully we hit the mark right on and land this thing where we want it. It's going to be a technical rollover, but we'll uh, see what she wants to do. I want to land it nice and soft, so... Go from there. Fingers crossed. Westbound, I'm assuming that's an accident. Looks like it laid down a little harsh. On the westbound 402, the preferred crew is about to mark a first in company history. I got to lead with that side anyways. That's the only spot I'm going to get any traction. OK. Good with that. And Gary is trusting his son to lead the charge. This is the first time I've done a car carrier. Everything's snugged. It's a scary feeling to try something that you've never done. Oh, I hate car carriers. All right. When you're catching a trailer like this, that is a really tough maneuver. I'll stand here. You can watch that back corner. You have a point of no return. When it starts to fall, you have to be there with the catch. If you're not, it's going to come down hard. Everyone clear? I'm going to pull. when you've got four lines running, you've got to make sure that every single one is doing the part that you need it to, and that one's not getting too carried away. So it's like playing a piano. You've got to make sure that all your fingers are in sync, or it's going to come down and it's going to shock load the truck. Nice, gentle. Get your catch there, because it's coming quick, eh? Yeah. Got the catch on it, Carl? Yeah. Okay. He needs to set it down gently and precisely in the tight space available. Catch is tight. Okay, let off on the catch slowly. See if that gives you anything. There you go. I got her. Just work between the catch and the roll, and you got it. There it is. Nice. Two inches off on my water bottle. That was pretty good. Nice roll, came down, he caught it. Soft landings, just the way I like to see them. I like the soft landings. This was a super smooth catch on this particular one, and really tough being something that I haven't even done before, so pretty proud of him. Now we gotta just get everything de-rigged off this thing and get it out of here. It's a long way from pulling cars out of the mud, 
but still just the beginning of Colin's journey. That's why we do it. It's nice to see that he's building on what he knows. He's becoming a real skilled operator. Oh yeah, I like it. It's a pretty rewarding feeling for sure. You led, you did a good job. Thanks. All right, let's bring him home. Sounds good. This is definitely a job for the books. I've never seen something like this before, and it was a pretty interesting, involving recovery. The team did really well on it, and uh, now we get to go home and have some rest. Well, I'm definitely calling that one a win. Time to go home. Having been removed, he's all clear. Wonderful, thank you. Next time on Heavy Rescue 401. That's a different one. Hot Pursuit. Apparently, they were actually calling 911 just now. Takes a turn. Got to look into this a little bit further. It's stinky. Mitch. <coughs> this stuff can't be good for us. Faces a pile of problems. Makes me want to go back to school and work at a desk. And father and son. It's going to break any second. Get blown away. Holy crap. This is insane.